get it back. What is up guys, it is Turbo here and welcome to episode 45 of the FIFA 14 Karimo. Today, we could potentially end the season. One win, three points here against Cardiff at home and we will guarantee second place. It's going to be a big, big, big match. All my players are up for it. They're all ready. They're raring to go. Remy's on the free kicks and we have the first chance. Christian Taylor being set through after a lovely through ball. Whips it back post for Cissé. Cissé gets his head to it but unfortunately the keeper saves and they do clear it. However, we win a corner later on. Kabai's going to whip this one in. Remy's going to get his head to it and Remy with the goal. Remy with his 15th goal of the season. He has been in excellent form this season. Definitely, definitely one of the contenders for player of the season. Luke Remy, I mean, he had so much power behind the header. The keeper touched it and could still not keep it out. And it put us 1-0 up in the 8th minute. We are on the way to getting 3 points and finishing 2nd in our first FIFA 14 career mode season. Ben Arthur here on the ball, whipping it into Luke Remy again. Remy with a bicycle kick, but this time the defender was there to clear it and make sure that they don't go 2 goals down. It could be fatal for Cardiff, who are probably fighting a relegation battle, not going to lie. Christian Tao forcing the keeper into a wonderful save from about 25-30 yards out. Again, we win another corner. Kabai is going to whip this one into Yang and Biwa. Yang and Biwa is going to get his head to it. And for the consecutive time, Yang and Biwa manages to get his head onto the ball and put us 2-0 up on the last day of the season against Cardiff City. We have a 2-0 lead. Both goals coming from corners. Both goals coming from headers. Both goals coming from teams. Well, all the Frenchmen have been involved in our goals so far. Let's just, let's just put it that way. Whittingham here going forward to Cardiff, whipping it in, but no, no, no chance against Danny Rhodes. I had to repeat that no three times just to emphasize exactly how much of a chance the Cardiff City player had. Cissé on the ball, wonderful offloading skill to Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur's going to use his pace to just stream past Stephen Corker here. No chance for Stephen Corker. He cuts inside using his skill again, showing us how good he is. Has a shot straight into the path from Luke Rennie, however. A little bit unfortunate. Christian Taylor, never really going to go in. A little bit later on in the first half, I mean, we were dominating. There was no, there, there, there was no stopping. Cardiff are just going to get demolished this match. The circle on the ball, whipping it in back post to Christian Teo. He has some sort of a weird potato dive header thing, and uh, he loses the ball. However, Lloyd Remy wins it back, but does cause a foul uh, in the offence, and so we lose it. Christian Teo is going to be subbed off here. I felt it was time for some substitutions in the second half. Uh, the match is in our favour. We are 2-0 up, and I'm taking off another striker. Uh, I'm putting on Dongu, who's more of a more. I'm I'm sort of playing him in the centre forward role, uh, and then leaving Remy up front. But Dongu here is just going to try and burn past everyone, but he loses the ball. Not what I want you to do, Dongu. Just keep hold of it. Just keep hold of it, my man. But they whip it back out, and Yang and Biwa here gives the ball away in the middle after scoring. He gives the ball away, potentially trouble, but Vagara manages to get back, and Tim Crow gobbles it up gratefully. We have a next chance. Dongu here playing the ball through to Remy. Look, Remy having the early finesse shot, choosing to take it early. Hits the bar, hits the keeper's ass, and then Corker clears it away from the danger area. But we are very much on top. If we can get a 3-0 win, um, well, another goal, really. It will seal the deal uh, because there's still a little bit of danger that they could come back into the match. But it's 89th minute now, 90th minute stuff. We are ready. We are ready to celebrate. We are ready to have finished in second place. It will be a great season. And there it is. The full-time whistle goes. We win 2-0 on the day. And it caps, it caps off an excellent season with an excellent performance. Yellow Hanker by getting the man on the match with two assists. A goal from Lloyd Remy and a goal from Yango and Biwa, who played excellently at the back. And on with Vergara at the back, we were solid. Tim Coyle again keeping a clean sheet. It's excellent, excellent, excellent. And you'll see exactly what that has done to the table. Uh, but firstly, an update from Spain. They found some players, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Denver wanted to, not Denver, Papis wanted to play. I let him play. I'm just a nice man like that. Here's the table. We are one game away, four points ahead of Manchester United. So potentially we could still finish in third. But we have definitely secured a, um, a Champions League place. We are in the top four. We will be in the Champions League next season with Newcastle United. It will be excellent, excellent time to be a Newcastle United fan. I'm going to reject an offer from, uh, I think it was Paraguay, to, uh, to for international management. I don't care. Obertan, you're not getting any wages increased. You have not worked hard at training at all. I'm going to sim this match uh, simply because it doesn't matter to me anymore. I just want to get the season out of the way so we can get to the end of season stuff and talk about all the suggestions for transfers which you guys are leaving me in the comments. Hint, hint. Uh, we do lose 3-0 to Liverpool. Absolute shame. I don't really care. Joe Allen actually played. Joe Allen is a player I've been chasing for the whole season. Um, but now, we get just over 12 million funds 
for uh, for next season because we came second in the Barclays Premier League. There's the last table. Man United actually lost on the last day. Man City won, but they couldn't stop us. We were two goals ahead of them. Much better goal difference. And um, we finished on 75 points. The top was actually tight. We were three points away. But Arsenal don't get a Champions League spot. Spurs don't get a Champions League spot. So it's only going to be Chelsea, Newcastle and the two Manchester, United, Manchester teams even. So uh, it's going to be tough in the Champions League for us next season, but I feel we can do it. So, bearing that in mind, guys, leave some players that you want me to sign. I need Champions League quality players. I need players who are affordable, but yeah, I can afford to buy, and they will be good quality. France. Contract offer from France. I've been waiting for a big team like France. I'm going to accept, partly because so many of my players are from France. I'm looking forward to meeting up with uh, Kabay, with uh, Ben Arthur, with Remy, all these players are from France. I'm looking forward to meeting up with them in the World Cup because, of course, it's 2014. It's the World Cup, and you know what that means? It means we're gonna we're gonna be having a World Cup summer. So, amongst all the transfers, amongst all the speculation, we're gonna be having a World Cup summer. This guy looks excellent, Dale, uh, Dale Jennings. I only call him Jennings, Dale. Um, he looks excellent. I'm gonna ask my scouts to to scout him to see if he's worth the money, and uh, that other centre back looks good as well. But like I say, guys, now, is, now it's up to you. Leave your comments. Tell me who you want me to buy. Tell me why. Tell me who I should get rid of. Tell me why, what formation I should play. Everything is up to you guys now. Leave all your comments below. Leave, like, leave a like if you've enjoyed this video, guys. And I would really appreciate it if you could just get one of your friends to share this video with them. Uh, that, I, that would greatly help me out. It means that we would be uh, exposed to a wider audience, guys. And I, I enjoy doing what I, what I do. Because uh, because of you guys, because of the reaction I get from you guys in the comments and on the like ratios and stuff like that. It's really good to see. Um, Urbazan's gone on the transfer list. I don't care. He's going to be the first player I get rid of, if anything. So, uh, so yeah. A little look into the scouting, guys. But, like I said, because we have accepted the contract offer with France, because I'm now an international management manager. That's weird to say. Um, we will actually be linking up with France in the summer. So players' contracts are expiring. I don't care. They can go. FIFA World Cup time. In our group, we have... Here's a little sneak peek for you guys for the next episode. In our group, we have Australia. We have Ivory Coast. And we have Scotland. Thanks for watching, guys.